Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this video, spending a few minutes of your time and learning about data warehouse. Good luck, you are in the right stage. A data warehouse is, uh, is a repository of data used for analysis, under reporting. The data stored in the warehouse is loaded from several different operational source systems. Data may pass through operation data store for cleansing before it is used for the reporting. Data warehouse is a huge database. It's primarily used for the reporting and data analysis. As I said earlier, it is coming from many different operational source system. Let's take a look at it. How are we you know, relating a data warehouse to the real world scenario? <coughs> wow. This is a such a beautiful picture, isn't it? So this is a. I don't want to give a, you know a detailed uh, uh, overview about data warehouse to overwhelm you, uh, but just to go one step at a stage, right? Assuming that you have a retail industry, a retail company, and you are selling um, the consumer products, and the consumer generating revenue for your company from different channels. You have a website where you uh, display all your products on the website, so people directly go to the website and purchase a product, and um, the transaction flows through from the e-commerce system. That's a one channel. Other channel, you may have a retail store in any of the city or any of the country, and the transaction is coming from a point of sale. People directly going to your store, making some purchases, and you are generating the revenue. That, that is a channel too. Another other mode of communication or the transaction happening is through the sales or from the marketing. The people, the agents directly go to the vendors or to the consumers directly and selling your products. That is another channel of information that you are receiving your transaction. On top of it, you could also get it from a third party external files because you may have the transactions through a different channels. So we are assuming this is the scenario, the operational source system. You have a sales, you have an e-commerce system, you have a point of sales and a marketing and from the flat files. So this we constitute together an operational source systems and the data residing in every source system may not be in the same format some same format meaning the sales may be generating the revenue through an excel spreadsheet or generating a revenue through a pdf whereas in e-commerce it's generating records in an oracle table or a sql server table or from a relational source systems the point of sales is another format of data it will be stored in the source system in the point of sales which you are pulling the records and marketing is same. It may be in a different different file uh, format. So what do you as a business owner or a, a, or a domain owner, you want to know how, how much of revenue is being generated on a given day without having an access to these channels like a sales, e-commerce, POS and marketing. How can you consolidate the data from different channels and see oh this is the total revenue that you have received so that's the that's the challenge of any uh, any um, company when they generate a revenue when they generate a report for that revenue okay this is the consolidated revenue for the company to generate a balance sheets or daily reporting to see the status of the company pro how it progresses and everything this is stored in every company's system now we need to pull this information into a staging area. The stage one of the staging area is a non-persistent staging area. What does that mean? The data from the sales, data from the e-commerce, or from the different channels, it just replicates the records in the non-persistent staging area on that specific given day, from morning 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Any transaction have occurred from these channels would be loaded 
into the non-persistent staging area. Loaded meaning that is uh, it's under the court. What is being loaded? I will talk about that in in our upcoming slides. And it will be loaded into the non-persistent staging area and under the uh, different cleansing mechanisms using different tools that we will be talking about that later and will be loaded into one level above which is a persistent staging area. The staging area constitute together is a non-persistent and persistent. From the persistent, we'll be moving into the operational data store, which is an ODS. So you, that ODS, it's a refined form of data. It is, a con, it is a kind of consolidated record. It may have uh, the data from the sales, e-commerce, POS, marketing, and files in one single table or in a multiple table, but it is in a readable format. It is the easy, simplified version of uh, the records from the different channels. Then from this is we call it as an integration area. Then the integration area under the operational data store, you have an ability to gain the records or gather the record to in into a data warehouse so using in uh, different different etl tools that operational data from the operational data store which is a cleansed or a cleansed version of record will be loaded into the data warehouse so the uh, the highlighted area which is as, as i talk about is an integration area from this integration area how the data will be loaded into the data warehouse before we talk about the data from the integration area to the warehouse, we need to give just give an introduction about Informatica Power Center. Informatica Power Center is an ETL tool. ETL stands for Extraction, Transformation and Loading. It acts as transform and integrate data from any source system in any format and deliver the data throughout the enterprise. Informatica power center definitions. The below objects are it's just for informational purpose because sometimes some of the some of the elements here are not relevant to data warehouse overview, but it helps you when you're moving forward how you can um, master in data warehouse. The, all these objects are that are found in Informatica workflow manager tool. Session, command task, task, worklets and workflows. On my upcoming slides or upcoming videos, you can see the details about session and other objects within Informatica. So I have a separate video, you can take a look at it. Now, the ETL, the highlighted area is the, uh, is the layer. It's used, it's a completely dominated by the Informatica power center. Using Informatica power center, you connect to this different source system unloads into the integration area. That's we call it as an ETL. Also, the same Informatica Power Center used to load data from operational source system into staging area, operational store the, from the staging area to the operational data store, and from the integration area to the data warehouse, again, the Informatica Power Center can be used to pull the records and be loaded into the data warehouse. So when it's loaded into data warehouse, why we have a bigger box for data warehouse? Because data warehouse hold the historical data. When when your manager, where when your um, uh, um, uh, business units wants to know the revenue for a given year, they when they want to compare, I want to compare the revenue for the 2014 to 2013 for a given department. How do I know without having the historical records? So that's where the data warehouse plays a vital role. It's a collection of records, a collection of repository. Data warehouse is a huge database used for data analysis and reporting. Data warehouse maintain four layers, which we talk about that. And from the data warehouse, again, using an ETL, it will be uploaded into the data marts. The data marts is, is as a star schemas, you see that there are multiple uh, data marts. Every in the small little box, go one data mart. There could be many, many data marts for a given organization. One could be for a sales system, one could be for an e commerce only, or very specific to department, or very specific to the enterprise too. 
so it serves a several different business uh, requirements so that's why i said from the data warehouse it will be uploaded into data marts why why again the same data needs to be loaded into data marts when we load into data marts it is a summarized version of record because in a data warehouse it may have records for a 10 years worth of history records so going through all the uh, 10 years worth of records it would be very time-consuming process so what we do we build a data marts uh, it's a data modeling perspective we define the table design the table in such a way that it can store only the summary records meaning for a specific uh, weekly uh, transaction for a specific department or oh, this is the revenue so we store that level so when you store that level for an executives or a higher official, they want to just go or generate a report, you, they, get, they get the data instantaneously. So that is the main purpose of uploading data, data from data warehouse to the data marts. Also, you can generate directly to a reports like a Cognos reports or a cubes, different S-based cubes or whatever that you want to use. It's completely, completely the, the enterprise specific based on their licensing, based on their cost, they change their the tools. So this is the framework and architecture. On these days, what we do, we also upload the data into an ETL cloud. So the ETL cloud is basically, um, uh, I mean, I can, uh, if it is a data marts, it should be an environment specific. Whereas if it is on a cloud base, I can upload it cloud. So using an, uh, ETL reporting tool, I can just directly um, query the record from the tool and source um, the entire user community regardless of their geographical location. And thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate that. Come back soon for my upcoming Informatica videos. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>